Table 3, a role playing game, third person perspective, a giant big adventure with a lot of quests and a lot of things to do and Revolution. it's a wonderful, funny, exciting and action packed game. We've seen the teasers, the trailers, we followed it on Facebook, on Twitter and There's on websites we and we saw the documentaries of how they made the game and who are the cast of the game. And now finally the game has arrived and also our review. Uh, what's different from the other Fable games, this time you're already grown up, so you're not a little kid or girl who needs to grow up and take shape. This time you're already grown up and you're the brother of an evil king. The king wants to rule Albion on a strict and hard rule with an iron fist. He wants to be the total ruler. If nobody does what he wants, he's going to burn down Hall Albion. So, you escape the castle with your teacher in combat, who is also your mentor and guide, and with your dog, and with your butler, and then you take shape. You can do good things or bad things, you can be good or evil. That's already the same as all the other Fable games, but this time you have to start a revolution to overthrow your brother and take control of the castle, the kingdom and Albion. You're also the descendant of the hero. The king was also a hero, so that's what you are. You are to be and meant to be to be a hero. So you have to take several quests, there are a lot of quests, and take shape, take weapons, upgrade weapons, you can change clothes, you can change your outlook, uh, your hair, you can change your colors, and you can upgrade all your weapons and you can use magic. You start with no weapon but only your magic, so you kind of rely on your magic through the game and the magic is also very powerful. You can combine several spells like uh, kind of Jedi lightning combined with ice spikes from the sky and you get a really powerful magic spell especially if you upgrade it to level 3 or 4 then you can take out a big enemy just by using your spells and it's also useful when you're surrounded. Uh, your weapons also upgrade, you have pistols and rifles and you can all and you can choose between a hammer, a big gigantic war hammer, or a sword. Every time you upgrade your weapons, they take another form and they become more powerful. You also find hero weapons during the game, during your quests. But this time you have a kind of a secret layer where you can transport by simple touch of a button on your joypad. There you can change clothes, uh, colors, hairdressers, tattoos and weapons. Also there's a map where you can transport instantly to several quests or destinations wherever you want, which are available. Then of course there is the weapon use. The weapon use are really powerful like you can see in the review and there are several moves that you can perform. Quick attack and slow long attack and you see several different finishing moves what happens and they're very amusing and of an eventually bloody horrible horrific death scenes of the enemy which is pretty nice then we go to the resistance there is a resistance which you need to help and there is also loyalty the loyalty of the people you can gather by performing quests and be nice or evil to people just the kind of person you want to be that's the choice you have to make eh? do you be good to the people are you bad to the people doesn't matter you have to help several people and once you've done that then you perform a certain hero task and they will follow you the more followers do you have 
the more people will follow you and the whole town will follow you. So you do that with several towns and they all follow you. Then you go Sorry, to a certain dimension away. called the Road to Rule. And, I'm glad you and when you did. the Road to Rule are several gates that you have to open till you get to the castle in another dimension which symbolically stands for um, the more followers you get. And you can pass through each gate, the more followers, the more tasks you have done and the more people that are following you for the revolution. Then you get also on the road to rule several chests. Those chests are upgrades, like weapon upgrades, magic upgrades, spells upgrades, spells that you can buy. And also expansions, like buying homes, buying stores, children that you can get um, children that you can adopt, wives, bigamists, uh, criminal acts, uh, so on, so on. Just like the old Fable 2, you can buy homes, marry, be a bigamist, have several children, adopt children, buy stores, and also you can earn money with that. Um, I did get the sense of feeling that there are a little less quests available than the second fable. There are only quests where previous persons have a question mark above them. And that's what you can do as a quest. Um, so there's not many quests. There are a lot, but not as many as a fable 2. It's more story driven. The story may take around 10 hours maybe 12 if you play it slowly but yeah you know, well let's just say 12 hours then you finish the game but you can also go around the stores the villages and do all kinds of mini games and of course and you go of course do some things that you want to do by yourself and do not play the single player game or the quest you can go have a lot of women a lot of children have a lot of fun digging for treasures with your dog finding treasures and all those kinds of things just like fable 2 so overall the story wonderful i love it a great well done for an adventure the gameplay it's fun and it's better than fable 2 and it's a strong one and then we go to the graphics. The graphics, wonderful, beautiful, it's a real treat. Then we go to the prize in the front. Ah, then we get to the multiplayer. Well, there's no multiplayer, but you do have a certain room in your hideout where you can invite your friends who has also got table and show around your children, wives, or whatever you want to do, your homes, and show all your weapons, and you can also invite more friends to show but they can also invite you and you can take a look in there dimension and um, they call it dimensions because every single game you've got is another dimension with another hero so that's why they call it different hero dimensions so the price uh, yes is worth it the fun oh yes you've great fun with this several hours maybe 40 hours till you've got everything in the whole game so overall fun it's just great fun.